You can really tell we're getting closer to spring with all of the changes that are happening out here. Well, hey guys, and welcome back to Hey, It's a Good Life. I'm so glad you're here because today we're talking all about what are the top five seeds I'm most looking forward to this growing season. I got tagged in this challenge and I'm finally getting around to it. So thank you for your patience with me, you guys. Finally getting settled in here to the new suburban homestead. And I finally have all my seeds organized in one spot so I can finally respond to this tag. I'm gonna be honest, I'm feeling a little tired today because one of our cats is sick. So earlier this week, Oliver was sick. Thank you so much for all your prayers and good vibes. Now, today, Bear is sick. And I'm pretty convinced at this point that it's something related to grass. If you wanna send some prayers and good vibes Bear's way as well, I'm sure he would really appreciate it. So that's my little animal update for you guys. Here's like a little mini update of how things are coming along here at the house slowly but surely lots to clean and unpack still but we're getting somewhere but what i thought you guys might also be interested to see as well are the new garden beds not the most beautiful shot here in the garage but just over here i've got what i'm calling my disability friendly budget friendly frugal garden beds I'm really excited about these because they're my waist high. So they're about three, a little over three feet high. That means I'm not gonna have to bend over to take care of anything in the soil, to pick any weeds out, to deal with anything at the base level. It might mean reaching up high for some of the climbers like the tomatoes or the tomatillos, but I'm okay with that because I would rather not bend over. And quite frankly, that's still something that's hard for me. That particular angle for gardening where you kind of, kind of, uh, fold at the hips that's still like not the best movement for me so that's okay we have an opportunity to build some new beds and we're building them bigger and better than last time so without further ado let me show you how they're coming along I'm just gonna be honest with you I learned a lot building this bed I am NOT a professional woodworker by any means so I have a lot to learn and the last beds I did not use any kind of clamps and I wish I had had clamps back then but I didn't luckily we have amazing neighbors here and our neighbors next door and down the street have offered for us to use their tools they said any saws we need any clamps we need any kind of tool if they had it they would be willing to let us borrow it so this frugal girl said, okay, I'm gonna take them up on their offer. And I said, hey neighbor, any chance you have some clamps? And I asked for that after building the first garden bed. Now I'm very tempted to take this apart and rebuild it with clamps. The part of me that really wants like perfect edges and just everything to be as seamless as possible wants to rebuild these. But the other part of me that's like, I need to get these up and running is like, don't worry about it. It was your first bed, it taught you something. So just know as we're looking at these that they're not perfect, but that the next garden beds are gonna be a lot better because I do have the clams now. I've started building that. It's going a lot better than this first round. Anyhow, so here is a little sneak peek at the garden beds. Aren't they beautiful? Bottom line is I do have to get these built quickly because I've got plans. I'm leaving. I'm going to the shindig. I'm going to go hang out with Roots and Refuge. I'm going to be there at the shindig. And then a couple days after that, I'm headed up to Seattle to visit the Elliott Homestead for doTERRA training, which I'm really excited about. Parisian Farm Girl is going to be there. Roots and Refuge is going to be there. A table full in the woods. Who else is going to be there? Obviously Shay Elliott. So I'm really excited, but I feel like the pressure is on. Anyway, I am feeling really pumped about these garden beds, but I also feel like the pressure is on because I've got to get some stuff done. I've got to get my seeds done and I've got to get my beds built. And it's vlog launch week. So if you want the plans to that sent straight to your email, Tommy is going to help me finish up those plans tonight in his CAD program. We are going to get those out to you guys for the vlog launches the first day of spring, which is just a couple days away. I'm so excited for spring. I'm so excited for the vlog. You guys, so much is happening. So much is happening and I'm so excited. I keep saying that, like, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, but I really am and I'm grateful to be sharing it with you guys. So thanks for being here. Well, hey guys, 
and welcome to the garden. I thought we could sit outside for today's video because it's such a beautiful day out and I love the idea of sitting where there's promise and meditating on that promise and meditating on those dreams. And as I'm sure most of you guys know, I recently posted a video called Tell Me Your Dreams, I Wanna Root For You. Um, and I tagged a bunch of channels that I've really grown to admire, some of which have become friends along this YouTube homesteading journey. And today we got the first response. So if you haven't seen that video, although I'm sure most of you have, Jess from Roots and Refuge posted her response today and it was absolutely beautiful. And there's no doubt in my mind that her dreams are going to come fruition in due time. And I just love this idea that we can encourage one another and meditate on promise and dreams and just push each other towards those dreams. And as Jess put it, fan the flame underneath those dreams until they are brought forth. So I'm gonna sit here where there is promise, where dreams are gonna come true, and we're gonna talk about seeds, okay? So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so after some sorting through, I think I've broken it down. It's a little bit more than five seeds, but it's not too bad. I think in general, I'm really excited to grow tomatoes. I love tomatoes. They were really fun to grow last season. And what I really wanna get good at is growing the fundamentals. Like if I could grow a lot of garlic, a lot of onions, and a lot of tomatoes, I would be so happy because we eat those all of the time. Those are like the bases of so much of the food that we eat. I also really wanna learn how to can. And so being able to can my own marinara sauce or even my own, just my own crushed tomatoes would be so nice. So with that said, I'm really excited for this pink ox heart tomato, which I got from my friends over at the VW Family Farms. And I'm also really looking forward to these Henderson's pink Ponderosa tomatoes from my friend Luis Tabone over at Green Zebra Gardening. He also has a blog and a YouTube. I will link him down below, so go check him out. VW Family Farms obviously has a YouTube, so I'll link them down below. Guys, corn, not just any corn, but beautiful blue corn. I'm super excited for corn. I'm really excited for corn that is not just corn, but that is also beautiful. This is gonna turn into some beautiful blue corn. And it's, there's a little note on here that says it's non-GMO. And there's a little note that says, yields sacred blue cornmeal. How cool would that be to grow our own corn and make cornmeal out of it? I think that'd be pretty rad. Another seed I'm really looking forward to this year are these pepper Thai red chili. Again, from VW Family Farms. Thank you so much, you guys. I love spicy food. And so I'm really excited to be able to grow some of my own Thai red chili. I also love that these are heirloom seeds and they're from Baker Creek. And last one from VW Family Farms. I'm really excited for zinnia. I love zinnia so much. I grew zinnia for the first time last year and absolutely fell in love with how hardy it is but the fact that it invites my favorite things, birds and butterflies and the bees. On the note of the bees, I got this beautiful package. It's called Pollinators Flowers Mix and it is from Jules Bzz Elixir. A bee is an exquisite chemist, it says on here. Um, so this is going to help invite pollinators to our garden, which I'm really excited about, especially as I'm still learning about pollination and all of that stuff. I really do feel passionate about this whole save the bees thing. I know people say, oh no, it's not really happening. No, it's happening and we need to do something about it. And I want to be able to do something about that here. So super excited to start our pollinator garden. These are called yellow brandywine tomatoes. So I'm really excited for more tomatoes. And last but not least in the tomato category is the cherry tomato. Who doesn't love a sweet off the vine cherry tomato. Absolutely delicious. Super looking forward to growing my own. And last but certainly not least, something I'm something I'm really looking forward to is being able to grow my own loofah seeds. So these came from my new friend, kind of gotten to know her a little bit through Instagram, Liv Maynard over at the Dirty Knees Farm. I will link her down below if you guys wanna go check her out. So these are, yeah. Loofah Gourd from the Dirty Knees Farm. I'm so excited, you guys. I wanna grow my own loofah, I wanna sell the loofah, I wanna use all of the natural sponges. I'm really, really over chemical, industrial, commercial stuff. I just wanna try and do as much as I possibly can here. So, I'm really excited for loofah. Plus, I hear you can eat it and it actually tastes pretty good, so that's kind of exciting. So now I wanna tag a couple channels to participate in this top five seeds challenge as well. The first channel I wanna tag is Nathan over at Samson Farms. The next channel I wanna tag is Caitlin from the Barefoot Mama. Next up, my good friend, Abby Jo over at Forgotten Way Farms. My other dear friends, Heather and Kevin over at Bare Bottom Acres. And my new sweet friend, Samantha Yates over at Soul Yates. 
I will link everything down below. And guys, I want to say a special note about Samantha. She is brand new to YouTube and I have gotten the chance to know her over Instagram and she is absolutely a sweetheart. I would love for you guys to head over to her channel and give her a warm YouTube welcome. Subscribe if you feel so inclined, watch her videos, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, drop a comment on some of her videos and just leave a word of encouragement. If you are not a YouTube creator, you might not know how hard getting into YouTube is. But let me just tell you, it's pretty difficult. So, so a gentle word of encouragement goes so far for us young YouTube creators. So if you wouldn't mind, take a moment out of your day, hop out of this video and go check out Soul Yates' new channel and leave her some comment love. Thanks so much for watching today, you guys, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time.